Welcome to Thriving Tribesmen, my name is Kuri, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. Last week, we didn't get a good chance to do the 30-day Get Your Game Back lessons, so this week we'll be kicking them up a gear, at least two lessons per day. So in order to access that, you go to the Facebook group, Thriving Tribesmen, and uh, you'll be able to access, access, access that. We've done, I think, up to day three, so hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have done up to day 10. And next week, we'll be now going into the second phase of what you transforming your sexless relationship. So today, I'm going to be talking about the transactional side of um, a diagram that I have. It's called chore play to foreplay. And basically, it's more about, you know, most guys, they focus on the things that they need to be doing within the house. And really, they're doing all of these things because they want to get favor or at least be looked upon favorably by their partner. And therefore... By, you know, either it's doing the dishes, whether it's doing the housework and building things within the house. And there's this sense of entitlement that gets built up because you think, I'm doing all of these things. Therefore, if she's happy, um, she will give me sex. And sometimes it's not just the, the housekeeping. Sometimes it's the fact that you've taken her out on these um, dinner dates. You've taken them out on these, uh, what you call it? Uh, <laughs> The, this dinner dates, there's these romantic getaways, and there's so many things that people do. In fact, uh, recently I'm, I, I heard of a guy who built a whole entire kitchen, you know, and he couldn't even afford the kitchen, by the way. So he was really struggling for money, but he felt if he goes and buys this uh, kitchen that she wants, uh, then maybe she might be interested in him again or might have sex with him again. And they're going to do all these different lengths to try and do it. And when you do all of that stuff, it's it's in substitution of the actual skill of seduction. And therefore, everything that you're doing is transactional and you will always have to go through, down that route. Whereas if you have the skill of seduction, all of that becomes a bonus rather than the actual vehicle for you to get sex. So it's a very important uh, distinction and most people really... Uh, miss this bit then uh, seduction is an actual skill and being in seduction is something that you have to um, really it's a muscle that you have to be practicing and working on it's something that doesn't happen overnight and therefore that's why we have that uh, course is really getting you into the mindset of thinking of yourself as somebody who is in that mindset and the best way of putting it is that uh, the, the course is similar to swimming. So I'm not teaching you every stroke in, in terms of how to seduce. I'm just teaching you how to breathe while you're doing the thing. So, you know, if you're teaching somebody how to swim, you, you teach them how to breathe while they're doing the activity. Once you get that down, learning the strokes is so much easier. And basically that's what it is. So you have to understand that there's the whole seduction thing is got a skill. It's got you have to have mindset towards it. There's um, also principles of seduction, and then there's also things that, like for example, how do you navigate their personality? So how do you? Because you, you recently I was speaking to somebody who uh, who's got a wife who's a narcissist. So how do you navigate a narcissist? How do you navigate somebody who's got uh, sexual trauma? You can still seduce, you can still have a high-frequency relationship, but having the ability to understand that seduction in itself is a whole entire skill that you need to be learning and you le learn over time. So for, for me, it took me uh, seven years to really get good at it. Uh, and I, it's not, it doesn't mean that it's going to take you seven years. I just had uh, seven years to learn it, the actual skill. Now I can pass it on to you and you can learn it so much easier because it's the, the principles can be taught. And once you understand the principles, you, start, you stop being transactional with, with your approach because usually most people, that's how they approach it. I've done this, I've done this, I'm entitled to sex, I'm not getting sex. And then you, your whole world crumbles because you don't understand the actual, that seduction is a skill. So, and again, a lot of it is not because it's not a fault. So I'm not saying you're to blame for it. Nobody teaches this stuff. I'm probably the only human being right now who's teaching it from this perspective. 
there's people that teach it, but don't teach it from a sexless perspective. So, again, hopefully this is something that has got you excited. And like I said, we are having uh, our 30-day course. It's a free course, so you can go to our Facebook group. You can go join in. Uh, when you join in, uh, if you've got any questions, you can speak within the Facebook group. Like we're trying to build a community so that you guys can really be successful within your relationships it's free why is it free it's free because we want to help uh, help out as many people as possible and again this is so new to 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 people that we want people you guys to come over here get your life transformed and then you can go and talk about us to other guys because the amount of guys I speak to every single day about being in a sexist relationship and the relationship dynamics and the struggles of sex, uh, a lot of it is things that you can easily overcome. You can have a better life. I mean, for example, right, right now, life is very difficult as it is uh, with the financial crisis and everything else that's happening, um, let alone going home to a crisis as well. It's a very difficult situation and it can be lonely. It can be... Um, a place where you suffer depression because nothing in life seems like it's going well. At work, it's not going well. Financially, it's not going well. With the wife, it's not going well. It's this perpetual thing where you feel like you're just free falling and you can't arrest it. It can stop it. And this is your opportunity to actually go and then start doing something about it because you can just sit in sidelines or you can just not do anything and just continue the free fall, but you can actually stop it. Again, same, you can go to the Facebook group, join the community, start applying the principles that we're teaching over there, and if you've got any questions, you can ask questions, we'll help you through it. Like I said, it's free, so you don't even have to pay anything. So thank you very much, for you guys. Hopefully you've had a very good weekend. I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Take care.